the Navajo Nation is recognizing 150 years of its treaty with the United States this year. Navajo leaders signed the treaty in 1868, which ensured their people's return home from incarceration in Fort Sumner, New Mexico, to their traditional homelands. The agreement also created the framework for the nation-to-nation -nation -nation relationship with the federal government. Tribal events commemorated the signing, including a 400-mile run from Fort Sumner to Window Rock, Arizona, to trace the steps of the Diné people's return home. Correspondent Antonia Gonzalez spoke recently with the vice president of the Navajo Nation about the significance of the treaty. And joining us today is Vice President Jonathan Nez. Thank you for being in studio with us today. Yeah, thank you for having us. So uh, the 2018, the Navajo Nation declared the year of the treaty um, to tell the history of the treaty signing. Many Navajo people suffered, many didn't make, a, make it home back to their homelands. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how the treaty events are retelling history from the native perspective? Absolutely, you know, we are uh, commemorating 150 years uh, since the signing of that treaty and what we're wanting to magnify throughout the Navajo Nation is the resilience of our native people and that's just not Navajo it's all indigenous people throughout the world and in this case in the southwest and it's really a story about overcoming uh, as a people overcoming tough times and as many of our uh, people know and, and those that have read about the long walk of the Navajo, uh, we've gone through a tough uh, period uh, during the uh, westward expansion, uh, the United States, uh, America's growth, and uh, the times of, uh, I guess in, you could say, manifest destiny um, and the uh, land uh, grab that had occurred and for the Navajo people you know we uh, were living uh, in harmony with the land during uh, 150 plus years ago and uh, the folks coming from the east you know wanted to uh, um, move all the way to the Pacific Ocean uh, in, in search of land and wealth and but little uh, do many of us know in the United States is that uh, indigenous people were living here on the United States uh, soil uh, prior uh, to that westward expansion. And you would think it would be just a straight uh, um, course to Fort Sumner, but no, he went kind of up from Albuquerque and up north into Santa Fe. and. You know, there are stories that say that the reason why they did that was just to let folks know that the, uh, the great Navajo people were, were uh, taken into captivity, um, kind of paraded through these communities and uh, taken to Fort Sumner. And I guess we were just being used, uh, shown as an example, if you uh, go against the great U.S. government, this could happen to you. 150 years later, with the commemoration that the Navajo Nation is doing, is we're telling the story from the signing of the treaty of 1868 to today. And not many of our people know that story. And to magnify uh, resilience and, and overcoming tough time is that message that we want to reinstill into our young people. because. It's no secret that in tribal communities, you know, we have high levels of uh, alcoholism, drug addiction, uh, depression, suicide. But I believe, I truly believe as the vice president of the Navajo Nation that if we can open that door to have a discussion about uh, our history from our own lens, I think it can reinstill hope uh, and, and uh, a, a message uh, to our young people about uh, not giving up that resilience. You mentioned the history was the 400 miles. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a run that took that place as part way. of the, you <laughs> took part in that. Your shoes uh, were up at the treaty, um, yes. uh, when the treaty was shown for a month in Windrock this summer. Your shoes were also there, along with the Navajo Nation flag, where runners yeah. retraced ancestors' steps. and talking about a lot of issues that tribes face today, including the Navajo Nation. Um, your role model, part of health and wellness, is one of the things that you um, try to incorporate. So how was that 
uh, talk a little bit about health and wellness when it comes to Navajo people and, and with the treaty event. I think with the run that we did in commemorating uh, our 150 years was uh, very um, um, extraordinary because we went through the same route, we uh, followed the same route as our ancestors took back 150 years later, um, but there was a different atmosphere this time around. Um, people were opening their doors to the runners. Uh, we were praying with uh, the folks along the route, you know, uh, people were feeding us and cheering us on as we were running through uh, many of the communities uh, that our ancestors took back. And it was just a whole 180 degree change in attitude where now it was uh, a moment of reconciliation, if you say, uh, a moment of healing for all people. And again, this is just not for the Navajo people, it's not just for the people in New Mexico, but it was for all people in, in the Southwest. And to see that mankind, human beings, five-finger beings can come back together and forgive one another. As we ran through these communities, we said, okay, it, it is time to come back together again. We understand that that happened. But uh, maybe and it is a time of healing. healing and forgiveness, you know. And, and we cried together. A lot of uh, non-native folks uh, along the way. Again, we prayed together. We also uh, ran together. Uh, we had even our, our sheriff's deputies <laughs> along the way running right alongside us. And and it, it was an emotional uh, event for many of us. And, and we weren't reenacting anything. We were, we were just commemorating the, along the track. and honoring our ancestors and also recognizing that we need to take better care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, Running is an intricate part of who we are and that's an intricate part of uh, health and wellness. Mm -hmm. and when we say uh, health and wellness, it's not just about uh, eating right or exercising. It's a holistic approach to health and wellness, which is also prayers and knowing who we are as indigenous people in, in our, in our uh, commemoration is just uh, knowing and being proud of being right. Diné as Navajo. Mm -hmm. And as we went into like cities with, like in Santa Fe, mm -hmm. people were honking their horns and, and shaking our hands and uh, giving us the key to their communities and uh, churches along the way opening their, their doors and we, we took we started off with one of our Navajo Nation flags from Fort Sumner, the village of Fort Sumner. And we thought it would be uh, uh, memorable for many of the folks along the way who signed the flag. And, and we took that flag all the way 400 plus miles. And that's what you saw at the museum, mm -hmm. including my shoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My shoes took a, took a beating, as you probably noticed, but uh, over 400 miles. Uh, all the way back, a lot of the runners bonded together. Mm -hmm. and, and when I say bonded together, it just also gave us a glimpse of what our ancestors went through as they went back to. We became a family, a mm -hmm. group of runners, and seeing each other every day and cheering each other on. Sometimes some of us, we were tired, right. and, and we felt like we, would, we couldn't go any further. Yeah. And, and what we said, you know, we'll help each other out. Maybe, you know, take a breather, but we'll just keep going. And it just kind of uh, gave us that um, insight of what our ancestors went through. I'm sure it was the same way. But as we came uh, into Albuquerque, that was special. Um, when we went down uh, the Deher Teheras, mm -hmm. uh, and then we looked and we saw Mount Taylor. Uh, and that was probably the one of the first times uh, the Navajo people, as well, back 150 years ago, saw one of their sacred mountains mm -hmm. in the distance. And we cried mm -hmm. as we saw that. And we were uh, gone for days and we saw that and we just uh, thought about what our ancestors um, uh, back then to see their sacred mountain in the distance and then knowing that right. they're almost home. Well, there's a lot of 
history and talk about resilience that you did you were saying with um, you know a few thousand Navajo people who made it home to more than 300,000 Navajos today and a lot of um, resiliency continuing today and um, we appreciate you coming in and speaking thank with you. us and sharing a little bit about the treaty events Absolutely. and um, thank you so much for your time today all right thank you